Howdy. Welcome back to the place where a carbide goes to die. So I'm still working on this project here. This is my uh, tap holders. Uh, Adam Booth inspired tap holders. And now I need to make this tang right here. And this tang is not so much for a drive tang. I really don't want to drive by this tang. What this is for is mainly so I can knock it out of uh, my uh, four to two Morse taper adapters. Because uh, my big drill press is primarily what I use to drive tapping with or do tapping operations with. And uh, it's Morse taper four. And uh, so anyway, I need to make these. And remember in the last one we uh, tap the hole in the back of this for draw bar in case we wanted to use it up here in, in this milling machine head, which it'll never get used in the milling machine. This milling machine won't drive something this big or won't run a tap this big. It might run like a 1032, but it won't run a 3 8 tap. Uh, so anyway, let's get tooled up to make these. I don't have a spindexer or anything fancy like that. But what I do have is a charge account at the uh, feed store. So this is a 3 8 coupling nut. It's about an inch long, inch and an eighth long. And I've run a 3 quarter, a 3 8 by 3 quarter bolt up in here. This is a grade 8. And just jammed it up in here with a jam nut. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn this off till it's about a half inch around. Uh, because the step on the end of this Morse Taper 2 is about a half an inch. So uh, we'll turn these down to about a half and go from there. Okay, I got 517,000. I chipped my insert. God, goodness, what a squall. Should put me a couple of thousands under a half an inch. Uh, yep. Um, two and a half thousandths under a half inch. So, now the furnace is going to kick on. Happy times. Okay, so here's my setup, and it is not a good one, but there's some homemade tea nuts, quarter inch stud. This little table has got quarter inch T8 
peanut slot or slots for quarter inch peanuts. Very odd. And here's our little assembly that we just turned down. I got my draw bar tight. Yep. Okay, it's a four flute carbide end mill that I've got crammed up in there. Lock the knee. So what I aim to do here is come in, touch off, and then I need to go down about an eighth of an inch because I want to have this want to have this tang about a quarter inch thick. So if I travel down about an eighth after a touch off, reckon that ought to get me leave me about a quarter in the middle. I'd call that a good touch. Now, I don't have a uh, any way to put a mic on here yet for a, or a indicator on here for depth, so I've got to use these Chizo red Chinese manufactured indicators on here. So I need 125 thousandths from there. That's supposed to be 10 thousandths. Well, there she is. Ended up about 240 thousandths. I'm not even gonna mic it. Uh, 240 thousandths is close enough for this piece. I think I'll go over and deburr it.
Okay, this is just a uh, stripper wheel for stripping gaskets off of, uh, that's a gasket stripping wheel. Paint stripping, gasket stripping, uh, removes unwanted corns and calluses, good stuff. So there we go, there's our tang. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Bill Clinton joke in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna mention it. There she is. Now I did relieve the threads a little bit in the end of the shank here to uh, give clearance so that this wheel, if this gets jammed up and runs in, this will bottom out on the flat instead of bottom out and on the bottoming, bottoming out on the threads. So there you go. It's about time to get ready for church. It's Wednesday night and I'm glad this project's over because I got a lot of time in this thing or no more than it is. So anyway, thanks for joining me out here in the shop. Y'all have a good one. Drive safe. Watch for deer.